Chambray shirts, let's be honest, if you do not have at least one of these in your rotation, you are missing out on what is probably one of the most versatile articles of clothing that you can wear. And that's because they go across all three of the different archetypes. Yes, they have a history that's rooted in the rugged archetype. They were based out of a functional need, but They've been around for so long and they are a collared shirt and so as society has evolved they've become something that is a little bit more refined just as a result of that and then obviously there are ways to wear them that can be a little bit rakish. And so as you just saw, today I wanted to give you three different ways that you can wear a chambray shirt one way for each of the archetypes. Now today's video is brought to you by Gantt and I appreciate them reaching out and being interested in sponsoring the channel, especially because I've loved their stuff for a long time and so it's one of those that just, it's, it's a good pairing. And today's shirt is from their Tech Prep collection and so I will have a link for you below where you can go check this bad boy out. Now let's dive into these three different looks. So let's start off with the rugged because that is the origin and it's also the most simple. Honestly, I would say that it would be pretty hard to screw this up as far as a rugged shirt goes. You can wear it on its own like you're seeing in this video. You can wear it as a layering piece that's buttoned up or unbuttoned. It's kind of like a shacket. You can wear it with jeans or with shorts or with like tactical pants or really pretty much anything. Now as far as making sure that it's rugged and it's not too dressed up, you want to pay attention to a couple of different things. First of all is the length. You don't want it to be so long that it cannot look good when it's untucked. This one is probably about as long as you want to get, but obviously at the same time you still want it long enough that it can be tucked in both for the functional aspect of it and if you decide to blend it in with other archetypes as well. A couple of other things, a button down collar helps. You don't want a super spread collar. It helps if it has a chest pocket or a traditional placket. Some of those details that skew a little bit more casual are great. And then really just slap it on. The only thing I would say to avoid is wearing it with a pair of jeans or something else that's too similar in color because then you get like the Canadian tuxedo look going on but other than that it's pretty dang hard to screw this up. So let's take it over into the rakish territory. Now rakish doesn't have to be totally over the top and in your face nor does it mean that everything has to be totally over the top and in your face and one of the best things to do with chambray if you lean a little bit more towards the rakish archetype is to use it as a piece to anchor down the rest of what you're wearing because if you have too many statement pieces then none of them are statement pieces and you just look like a, a clown and so by wearing things that are a little bit more toned down then you can wear things that are a little bit bolder now take a pair of white chinos for example now yes those have been around forever but the average dude does not wear white pants you don't see those on accident men who wear those very intentionally decide I'm going to buy a pair of white pants and I'm going to put those on my body today and a way that you can help kind of tone that down a little bit is with something like a chambray shirt that way it's not white pants with a bright green shirt and you look like you belong in Florida unless obviously you're in Florida and you want to go that route but if you're somewhere where you need to have things be a little bit more moderate but still look like you're dressing intentionally 
then a chambray shirt is an excellent option for being able to tone down some of your other pieces. Which brings us into look number three, and this is the refined archetype. Now, with this, I can tell you that having been part of the sartorial menswear tribe for the last four years and still being heavily involved, knowing who the key players are, I can tell you that the only thing that is more popular right now than chambray with fine menswear are safari jackets. And those are gonna take a few years to catch up anyway, but let's talk about how to do chambray right with a sport coat and a tie or even a suit. Now the big thing to pay attention to with this is texture, weave, and pattern because a chambray shirt as casual as it is does not look good. It will not look good if you throw it on with a really finely worsted navy suit with a pair of black wingtips and a solid silk tie because the contrast between the shirt being more rugged and casual and the suiting being too dressed up, the contrast is just too strong. The way to do it right and have it look good with refined casual wear, refined suiting even, is to go with suiting that has texture. So you notice with this look, I've got on a pair of cotton chinos, this brown with a cream window pane jacket that has white mother of pearl buttons, and it's a wool linen cotton blend, and it's got a really good texture to it. There's a pocket square that's made out of linen, and then I've got a green knit tie. I mean, this whole outfit, if you pay attention to it, is very, very textured. And texture is what makes it so that the contrast between the shirt and the rest of the look isn't too strong. Now, these are just three of many, many, many examples, many different ways you can wear a shirt like this. In fact, this is the kind of thing that really, once you buy one, it will be very heavy in your rotation, especially because most of the time, chambray, when it's made right, is a lighter cloth, and so it breathes very well for the summer, but it's also great for fall and winter months, and so this becomes a year-round piece, unlike things like linen shirts, which are obviously only gonna be good for summer, or flannel, which is only gonna be good for fall and winter, you can get the full year's use out of something like a chambray. So this should be a staple in your wardrobe. In fact, I should have included this in the staples in my Dress Like a Man series. But that aside, if you do not have one, you need to go pick one up. And I very, very strongly recommend that you go pick up the Tech Prep chambray shirt from Gantt. And this has been my favorite. The fit is phenomenal. The construction quality is great. The cloth is nice and buttery but it's not so silky that it ends up making me nervous that I you know, can't wear it anywhere other than with suiting. It's an awesome shirt. I wanna hear from you guys. Do you have a chambray shirt in your wardrobe? If so, how do you wear it? What are ways that you have paired it up that seem unconventional, that have worked well? What are ways that you've tried to wear it that haven't necessarily worked well? Now, if you hear terms like rugged, refined, and rakish, and you don't know what I mean, or you wanna know how that applies to you, I got a link for you right here. Go check that out. If you wanna watch more videos like this one, then go check this out here. And as always, leave me a comment. This is a community, this is not just a channel. Make sure that you are subscribed and I will talk to you guys on the next one.